Tackle Junkies, what's going on fellas? Coming at you guys today with a quick video on how I store and organize all my spinner baits and chatter baits. I've got so many questions over the years about this box, especially recently I had this box in one of my newer videos. A bunch of you guys sent me personal messages trying to find out where to get this box. I believe it's discontinued. I mean, I've had this box going on like 15 years. You can even see here that bright orange. That's the color that it used to be. It's faded so much over the years. But I haven't seen this box in stores in a long time. Uh, except which sucks. You know, it's definitely uh, the best spinnerbait box I've ever owned or used. But, um, you know, I used it for a long time and I stopped using it. I thought it was just too big. Uh, now that I'm storing spinnerbaits and chatterbaits in this box, I feel it justifies the bigger box, you know, because I'm storing two baits in one. But uh, let me grab the camera and show you guys how I have it set up. All right, you can see here we have six dividers. Each divider holds 11 spinnerbaits. So we got about 66 spinnerbaits we can store in this box. I got all my Picasso spinnerbaits and then the shock blades in here as well. Now, I don't have anything labeled, but I know what I have in here. I got one quarter, one half, everything else is three eighths. So I got a couple rows here of spinnerbaits, and then I got three rows here of the chatterbaits. Again, these are the shock blades. Again, not labeled, I know what I have. This row here is quarter, this row is three eighths. These are half in the shock blade, um, the FX. That's the one that's got the, uh, the feathers there that you can see. But I keep it pretty simple with colors as well. You know, we got shads, bluegills, craw, black, blue, uh, chartreuse and white, and fire tiger. That's pretty much all I throw that covers everything that I need. But um, awesome box here, really wish they did not uh, discontinue this box. Now. If you can't find this box, you can still do the same setup here in these smaller boxes. I used to run a few of these. I have one labeled quarter, one three-eighths, one half. Um, but if you don't have as many spinner baits, you can just use one box. Run your spinner baits on one side, your chatter baits on the other. I mean, many different ways you can organize with these smaller uh, Plano boxes as well. I believe Plano and even Flambo, I believe they have a much bigger one um, like this as well. Uh, not as big as this box, but much bigger than these lower ones here. So if you can't find one of these, um, do the same thing with one of these boxes here. But guys, that's pretty much it. That's how I organize and store all my spinnerbaits and chatterbaits. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll talk to you soon.